All right, today's video is going to be fairly simple. Um, we're going to learn another one of our logic entities. This is the logic timer, and it can be used to do random timing events or fixed timing where we have a, a known interval in between firing. So we're going to do a random interval on it, and then, um, and then I'll have you do something a little bit different with it once we're done. But let me show you the basics of it. It's a very simple entity to use. So we're going to start in our sample by using our entity tool. Come over here to the objects. It's going to be a logic underscore timer. It should be this guy right here. Go ahead and drop it anywhere on your map. And it should look like this. Let's go ahead and open it. Selection tool, open, double click. And let's go ahead and give it a name. Um, I should have called it timer light. I was going to do sounds with it, but I changed my mind. So anyway, give it a name. And then we have the typical uh, start disabled. We're going to say no on that. Now, you could, you know, put this to yes so it's shut off and the player hits a trigger and turns it on and it starts firing. Um, it's up to you. It's just a standard disable here. So we're going to leave that at no. So when the game starts, this will automatically start running. Use random time. We're going to set that to yes. The minimum random interval. So this is the minimum amount of time between this thing firing. So what this timer does is it fires an output and then it runs a certain amount of time and then it fires an output again and it runs a certain amount of time and it just continuously, as long as it's enabled, this timer will continue to fire. And we have two ways of doing it. We can do a random time, which will be some value in between these two numbers right here. So the way I currently have this timer set up is it will fire at a minimum of one second and a maximum of five. So it's gonna pick a random time between those to turn to fire an output. So it might be one, might be four, might be five, three, two, five, one, and it'll just keep firing randomly. Now, if you set random time to no, this refire interval is a fixed interval. So if you wanted this timer to fire every three seconds, you would put random time to no, and under refire interval, you would put this to three. And it would fire just every three seconds. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. And it would just continuously go. So for today's um, sample that I'm doing, we're going to use a random interval. And then I'm going to have you guys do something a little bit different when you look back into the assignment. All right. Nothing on the uh, flags for today. So we're going to leave that set up. Now, next to your logic timer, I want you to put in a light. So go to your entity tool. Come over to your objects. Type in light, grab a light, and I want you to go ahead and drop it on the ground here next to it. The light, let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to give it a name. I called it light timed. Um, you could change the color if you want to. I don't know, let's make this, let's make it pink. All right. Um, we don't have to worry about the flags. You could set it initially dark if you want to. You don't have to. Um, I, I'm just going to leave it defaults. I'm just going to name it, give it a color, and that should be good enough. All right, now let's go back to our timer. All right, so the timer, we've got our times and everything set up under our outputs. We're going to do an on timer. So what that means is when the timer hits its value. So for us, it's a random time between one and five seconds. It's going to target the light, which is this guy right here. And then via this input, we're going to use toggle because remember toggle just switches it to the opposite of wherever it is. So if it's off, it goes on. If it's on, it goes off. You don't want to put this to on um, for this demonstration because it would just turn on. And then every time the timer strikes, it would just keep turning the light on, but the light's already on. So you won't actually see it do anything. But with toggle, toggle simply means, you know, reverse it. So toggle it between off and on. So every time the timer goes off, this light is going to either go off or on. Let's go ahead and hit apply. Close that up and let's run this. All right, so here we are. There's the vending machine and over here is my light. And so really all we got to do is just watch this. So 
if you count in your head, um, you should see that the light comes on and then it goes off and then it'll come back on. So if we count one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. So see, it's my counting's probably not perfect, but you can, if you just count along with it, it'll stay off or on somewhere between one and five seconds. So if you count along with it, you'll see that it, that it is random. It's between one and five that it's coming off and on. Okay? All right. So that's how to set that up. Go back and look at the assignment for what I want you to do with the logic timer, and it'll give you the instructions for what your sample is going to look like today.